Ramen. With an estimated 10,000 plus shops existing and specializing in it, it's no wonder this iconic noodle-based dish has become such a staple within Japanese food culture. But within the never-ending sea of Ichirans, Ipudos, and everything in between, spreading towards the United States, Europe, and even within your favorite manga and anime series, it's also a constant struggle for ramen shop owners to stand out amongst the large crowd. And Japan is definitely no exception to that rule, pushing boundaries with in food culture that very few countries dare to tackle. In my 27 years of consuming Japanese cuisine, I've had my fair share of insane and wacky variants of ramen and noodles. But what I'm about to tackle today is unlike anything I've ever experienced. As I'm about to tackle a bowl of ramen that I can only explain as being overly creepy crawly. Yeah. I am here right now in front of Ansicada, a ramen place here in Bakurocho, Tokyo. It's probably going to be one of the strangest ramen shops I've ever been to in my life. But I'm not here alone today. I'm here with my good friend, Emma. What's up, lads? <laughs> <laughs> it's Toki Doki Traveler. It's me. Do you like ramen? I like ramen. Of course you do. I feel like something is wrong though. I feel stressed. I feel a little sweaty. Something, my senses are going off. I'm sure you've had all sorts of different ramen before, right? Like Japan yeah. is just a plethora of all kinds of different noodles. Mm -hmm. But have you ever had ramen made from insects? I mean, no. <laughs> but are you talking about the noodles or is it like the topping or? It's like the broth. Oh fuck, okay. Like, it literally smells like dead insects like, right now. Can you smell that? I think it's because we're in like an alleyway. <laughs> this place, Ansicada, it is one of the few ramen shops here in Japan that serves insect broth ramen. I knew it had to be something weird because you know, why, why would you make a video of about course. just ramen? I wasn't going to take you just like ichiran. I thought we were going to get like ichiran. <laughs> no, of oh, course not. We're going to try something weird and funky because this is the Anime Man channel. And what is the Anime Man channel without getting my friends to suffer with me? Yay! <laughs> Great being your friend. Thank you so much. <laughs> but in realistically, uh, I've heard this place is A, rated very highly and B, is actually quite serious when it comes to like their making process. This isn't just for shits and Giggles. Like these guys clearly have something going on here. I mean, the fact that this shop is still standing to this day in a very yeah. fancy part of Japan as well. It looks very mysterious. It's it just, does. it's just. I mean, it's it's literally yeah. just a door with a piece of wood yeah. as the handle. I guess we're gonna jump in there and see okay. what their whole creation process and everything is all about, and have a bite of some insect ramen. Yay! Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Wow, look at that. Oh, nice. That's very, uh, very, fancy. very rustic, isn't it? Best chef and restaurant. Wow, look at that. And it's quite recent as well, 2020 and 2021. Wow, I mean, they're really playing with the insect theme quite heavily at this with yeah. all the stuff that they got here. Obviously, they've got uh, the beauty wow. of nature oh, right yeah. here. Sea urchin, uh, silkworm. Okay, I like these guys, <laughs> they're just bobbing. Oh yeah. Oh God. The only times I ever see stuff like this is in like, eighth grade science class. You know, where it's like, we're about to dissect one of these bad boys for science. Oh, look, we got horses and mebachi. How did they get so many of them? Yeah, right? Oh my these gosh. are like the, the killer wasps. Obviously they have, uh, you know, like actual mission. like, you know, plums, mikan, and that kind of stuff, sudachi as well. So they have like proper ingredients. Oh, there's merch. They got merch. Let's go. Hell yeah. We gotta, we gotta rep some of this Ansicada merch. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. I actually like the design. That looks like something you would wear. Yeah, I'd wear that. I don't know why. <laughs> Eating is not a task, it's an adventure. That's their tagline. I love that. That's cool. And then they also sell like actual uh, shoyu, like soy sauce. Oh, I just feel so uncomfortable being so close to the nest. Oh God, So your head was like right that. next to it. Yeah. Like your ear was right next to it and they could have just flown into your ear. You can actually see like little uh, bits of the, the leftover nest. These are actual sausages made from the silk of moths. That's the sausage? That's the sausage. So I know that with mulberry leaves you can make tea out of mulberry leaves. Like it's kind of mm. like matcha but it's like oh, a, okay. a deeper flavor. So maybe they just instead take the poop 
and making the tea. I mean, I would assume it's like a concentrated like flavor, right? Oh. Squeezed into a piece of shit. Oh, are they alive? These are alive. Oh, oh look at them. Hi, are we gonna eat you? We are gonna eat you. Oh, so this is the locust sauce. The locust uh, sauce. I never, I never thought I'd see those two words next yeah. to each other. You can see the ingredients though. It's got lo boiled locusts, rice, koji, uh, salt and water. Simple enough to make Most... it yourself at home. It's literally just locust, salt and water, isn't it? All right, it's time to finally eat. Yay! <laughs> I thought we were only gonna be having the cicada ramen today, but thankfully the folks over at Ansicada have given us the option to try a number of dishes that they have because they don't just have insect ramen, they have insect everything. <laughs> so we're basically gonna be having like a, almost like a special course meal of basically just everything that Ansicada has to offer. So yeah, ramen or not, it's gonna have insects in it. I'm interested to try the silk sausage. Yeah. I, I do not know, because they say it tastes creamy. Because I mean, I'm lactose intolerant, so if there's a, an alternative, even <laughs> if it's like silkworm sack or whatever it is. This is going to be an alternative yeah, to dairy. Is, yeah. People come over, they're like, do you have oat milk, almond milk? They're like, no, I got my silkworm sacks. <laughs> they're creamy and delicious. They're creamy, guys. My only experience with eating insects is that my grandma used to make this thing uh, where they would, she would get cicadas and put it in like a sweet soy sauce and kind of let it like sit there and marinate. So you're saying cicadas, are you saying cicadas or crickets? Dead ass don't even know the difference. Oh no. Cicadas go ree, 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 and they're bigger and they're ugly as hell. <laughs> they're so wow. ugly. They have feelings. Calling out all cicadas are <laughs> terrible. But the ones we're gonna be eating is probably the crickets, I think. Okay. Crickets. Crickets, so we're gonna be eating crickets. Yeah, cause cicadas, I feel like they would taste just so awful. <laughs> they're so ugly. All right, well then let's find out. Should I got Oh, it's cricket the cricket beer. beer. Yes. Whoa, that color. Whoa, that color. Whoa. Almost looks like a Guinness. Wait, do you want to like cut it in half and show the cross section? Yeah, yeah. See what it looks like. My food review skills are going to be put to the test. Oh, it feels like a regular sausage. I love sausages so much. So this has got a lot to live up to with my repertoire of Oh, sausages. okay. It actually just looks like a sausage. Yeah. But I guess it using the uh, silkworm... Sack? Sack. All right. Oh, it is creamy. It is creamy. It's really good. It's really good. That's delicious. It almost feels like it's got cheese in it. I don't think I've had a sausage that tastes like that. No. There's, it's like different. <laughs> you know, like a full English breakfast or a full Aussie breakfast. I feel like this would not go amiss. You no, absolutely it. not. It's so good. Bunnings should have this. Silkworm sausage sundae, the alliteration. <laughs> that in like a sausage sandwich would be so oh, good. Stop. It's not often you like eat sausages where you're like, I don't need sauce with that. Shall we beer? Shall we beer? Let's try this cricket beer made from real crickets. Hey, don't bite. It's like little insects on the tip of your tongue. It tastes different to any beer I've had before. I can't really put my finger on what it is. There's a flavor. I can't put my mandible on what it is. <laughs> It's also like a very like creamy. Are insects just creamy? I think insects are creamy. <laughs> I think that's what we're taking All away today. All insects are creamy. <laughs> Put it on a t-shirt. <laughs> so next we have our uh, insect platter. So many to choose from. We went from subtle to like. <laughs> no, it's like, and here's the insect. And here's the insects. <laughs> this is what you wanted. Uh, have you had any of these before? I've had bee larvae before. Me too, at Hanbei? At Hanbei, but also on Journey Across Japan. Oh. I ate it with Natsuki and Natsuki like almost threw up. It was funny because my reaction was cut out. Chris was like, that's a boring reaction. You liked it. Always with these things, sometimes my brain comes in and it's like, remember what you're eating. Freak out, freak out right now, do it. People who like, you know, get freaked out through like conceptual like foods like this, probably look away right now. <laughs> Why are you watching this video? This, yeah, this is like some fear factor shit for you. Should we start with the, the crickets? Yeah, let's go, let's go in order. I gotta freak out immediately. I'm okay. <laughs> Woo, I'm okay. I've already eaten you today. You're right here, your cousin. Exactly. I already consumed you. I drank your fluids. Oh, Three, two, one. It's a great flavor. Flavorful. Mmm. Mmm. Smoky? That's a 10. Cover all 9,000 taste buds. I was about to say, it, it would really go well with a beer. Oh, yeah. Thank God we have our beers. Go grasshopper. Well, that's a long boy. Long boy. Ah, uh, yeah, you really see the features. Like, they really just grabbed an entire grasshopper and just dunked it in some sauce. Oh, this flavor's different. <laughs> you good? Yep. Freaking out. I used to catch grasshoppers all the time, like with my hands as a kid. Sorry, this is really graphic. Biting into the head. 
it's exactly how I thought it would be. It's so crunchy. Just imagine. And I'm like, yum, yum, yum. yum, yum, yum. yum, yum. <laughs> What's the next one? It's a uh, silkworm larvae. Silkworm larvae. So it's just silkworms, sorry. They're not larvae, silkworm. Oh, this, oh, this is the biggest one of them all. For juicy. That's it. Oh, you got a juicy I boy got a right juicy there. God boy. damn. I used to have a blue tongue lizard and he used to eat silkworms and it was the nastiest thing I've ever seen. That is the most Australian thing I've heard <laughs> all day. I become the blue tongue lizard. Ooh, that's a strong flavor for that's that one. That's a strong flavor. Mm. I think that's the flavor of the, the, the silkworm. Yeah. It's fragrant. If you breathe that through your nose. <laughs> do you feel that? Oh. It's a lot. Oh. <laughs> I think the cricket and the grasshopper is very like light and like you can enjoy it as a snack. That one yeah. feels more like that's that's like, that's a meal. Yeah. <laughs> that's a right, meal, that's right, a meal there. right there. All right, let's try the bee larvae. I've had one of these before, but that's a fat bee larvae. The pale one. And I'm like, do I go for you or your brother? You should go for the albino one. All right. Oh, chewy. The texture's a little bit. I don't know the right word. Mushy sounds bad, but it's like it is mushy. But the flavor, the flavor is nice. Okay. I still think that the crickets are my favorite. Really? I like the grasshopper. Oh really? Yeah. But they're just too like. It's like I go through like a memory path to my childhood and it's just too intense. <laughs> and then what are these last ones? Uh, these look intense. Oh, the water, water bugs. Oh, the water bugs, that's right. Whoa, oh, look at these guys! Fuck. Whoa! Oh, shh. They're like little shrimps. Oh, God. Oh, that's a freaky looking boy. Dude, I can't, okay. It's just, it's- Look at it. No, like, this one's kind of halfway between the bee larvae and the cricket. This reminds oh, me of some kind of, of sushi. Am I crazy? <laughs> what? He's cracked. He's gone off the rails. Somebody stop him. Now this oh God, is the true insect eating experience right here. Bon appetit. Don't look at me while you chew that. <laughs> Don't you look at me, you nasty boy. So much flavor. There's a lot of, each of them are very potent. Like oh. there's a lot of flavor. It's very salty. <laughs> so up next we have a uh, cricket dayu. Dayu is kind of like, how do you explain chili? dayu? It's like chili oil. You eat it with some chashu and some spring onions on a bit of rice. There you go. How much more Japanese can you get than that? <laughs> some people eat pizza without the crust. I eat my locust without the legs. Do you like pineapple on pizza or do you like legs on your locust? <laughs> okay, I gotta get a little bit of everything. Oh wait, I gotta get the locust. Okay, Dakima. Ah! Oh, that's really good. Mm. It's like croutons in a salad, you know? Oh, that's spicy. Oh, it's coming. Ooh. Oh, that's got a kick to it. Ooh -hoo. I would not recommend this to someone who A, can't eat spicy food, and B, can't oh. eat bugs. Yeah. <laughs> you really have to like chew these down. Just fight back. Oh yeah. yeah, you can just see like, there's a bit of the leg that came off. Look at us. Just a couple of weirdos eating bugs. Eating bugs. Oh, a great time. I'm trying to figure out what part of the bug freaks me out. The head's one thing, but it's the legs as well. But if there were no head and no leg, what maketh the insect? <laughs> It's just like a black blob. <laughs> I like I like things to not have features. <laughs> I like how this restaurant not only incorporates insects, but also incorporates insects with other things to kind of mm -hmm. blend it together, right? I put a whole one in my mouth and I can't, my brain's not letting me chew it. It's like- <laughs> What do you mean? I, I just can't. <laughs> Come on, you gotta fight the willpower. It's just an entire insect. Don't talk to me. Hey, can you stop talking? All right, but last but certainly not least, everything we've had so far has been fantastic. But we're finally here. The, the cream of the crop when it comes to ansicata, and that is of course the insect ramen. Ramen. I've seen pictures of this when I was researching places, when I was researching this place. It doesn't look like there is insects in it. Okay. If you didn't know, it just looks like a bowl of ramen. But I've also seen pictures and I've seen footage of this giant pot full of insects and the chef is just doing this with the biggest smile on his face and I'm just like, I'm about to eat that. I think I take back what I said before, all insects are creamy. I think that insects can take on the flavor of whatever you pair them with. Right. I think that, that that's really- cool. Again, it's like, it's like croutons, right? Like yeah. it, it's there to kind of just like add that little extra oomph to your dish, I think. And I think that's the entire concept of this restaurant as well. Oh, here it is. Oh, oh wow. Look at him. Look at the little boy. So the dude has told me that uh, not only is the broth made out of ramen, 
but also the actual noodles are made out of ramen. Uh, and not made out of ramen. <laughs> you would hope so. Inside one bowl, there is roughly 150 crickets of uh, cricket. delicious cricket meat. <laughs> 150 crickets worth of cricket. 150 crickets worth of cricket. So the broth is made out of a mix between the two little boys that are sticking inside of our balls right here, the white cricket and the black cricket. Kind of mix them together and make this kind of... Do you also have its wings out? Mine is like artfully posed. Yeah, yours is like ready to escape. Joey's tips for eating ramen. Drink the broth first. The whole point of a ramen. A good broth equals a good ramen. And uh, I mean, this broth has 150 crickets in it. Ooh, it's an oily boy. Can you actually see like the tiny little the bits of like little cricket? Bits, little bits. That is like ground up cricket. Here we go. Cricket juice. That's full of flavor. Whoa. Oh, that's really nice actually. It's really salty, but like not overpoweringly. And it's, it's like just the right amount of oily as well, right? Like not too oily, but lots of flavor. I don't know if you can make it out, but like there's like little black bits inside of the noodles. And I'm pretty sure that's the cricket. All right, let's try it. The moment I started sloping that, the immediate smell of cricket just came out of my nose. <laughs> cricket does it, it's not like a, it's just a, another flavor. You know, to me now, now that we've had so many of them, it feels like, you know, oh, there's shoyu, and then there's uh, like tonkotsu, <laughs> and then there's cricket. You know? <laughs> the, the top three ramen. <laughs> Miso, shoyu, and cricket. It's just, it's a new flavor in my life. Honestly, I've had hundreds of bowls of ramen from every, like all sorts of different ramen restaurants, but I've never had anything like this. So it's like, good. It's like, good. It's weird in a good way. Like, it's really interesting. It's like soy, but not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know what it is. It's, some, it's, like it's soy something. and something, probably cricket. <laughs> I know I need to eat this guy, but he's out of all the bugs I've had, he's the most visual. Like, he is about to fly off. He is ready. Dude, they, they caught this boy mid-flight. He just got Dio'd, dude. Like, for him, I don't know if he's gonna have any flavor because he's not soaked in anything, so I'm like... Why don't, why don't you soak him in... I might the... give him a little bath. <laughs> it feels bad that I'm, like, drowning. In the juice of his comrades. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's fine. It's good. This is good for me and life. Just do it. Do it. <laughs> He's <laughs> good. It's just like, I can feel the leg, you know, individually. I'm not gonna cry. When you bit into that, I, all I heard was like the sound when Pikmin die, you know, like that. <laughs> I guess I'll eat my boy too. Oh, this guy's got some long antennas. Look at the face on that kid. Look at that guy. Head first, no, this. <laughs> <laughs> She's synchronized swimming. <laughs> Bottoms up. Oh, he's stabbing the inside of my mouth. Yeah, it's very, it's like, that's them. I feel that. That's good though. I, I like it. It's just my brain can't, like with this form, I'm like, hell yeah, I can eat, I can eat this whole thing. Mm. Delicious. If it's like the bug and it's not marinated in anything, it's like my brain just, it just, it freaks out. Right. I wish it didn't, because bugs are good. I'm sure this is, you know, the case with a lot of people, right? Like, I mean, people get conceptually freaked out about things that are perfectly edible. Not to say that bugs aren't perfectly edible, they are. If we've proved anything in this video, bugs are perfectly edible if they're prepared correct. Now, I definitely recommend this restaurant to uh, anyone who, A, is not very squeamish with bugs and stuff like that. Obviously, if you're squeamish and whatnot, I don't know how f you made it to this point in the video, to be honest with you. For me, this was like, really cool in terms of flavor, but also like, as you said, it's like just an experience, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's like it's like a theme park almost where yeah. it's like all these like different dishes are just like different attractions essentially. <laughs> right. That's why I love variety packs of things. It's mm. like you can try so many different things. I, I love that this had like kind of like a course yeah. where you could try each little thing. Exactly. And we didn't get to try it today, but they actually do serve like a proper like set course as well full of all sorts of different other insects that we couldn't eat today. Mm. But yeah, what's your overall verdict? I really like it. I don't know if I know anyone who would be a perfect match to like bring here. <laughs> if I did, I would bring them immediately because it's it's so classy, it, the food tastes great, yeah. and I think it's like a great concept. I just don't know anyone who'd be like, hell yeah, I'll eat some bugs. Yeah. It's like, yeah, yes? Yes, did you have to ask? <laughs> How did you know? I love cicadas. Yeah. But yeah, it's really good, really, really good. I'm glad you enjoyed I'm it. I'm very happy. I got to see you suffering and enjoy yourself, so <laughs> yeah. that's a double whammy. Thanks for bringing me, Matt. I appreciate it. Well, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to check out Ansicata, then I've left the address to this place down in the description below. And big thank you to the folks over at Ansicata for letting me film. And also go check out Emma's channel. Yay! She does other types of 
Cool Japan blog stuff as well. Cool Japan. That should be a tagline. Toki Doki Travel, Cool Japan. Cool Japan stuff, that's me. <laughs> also, if you guys like these kinds of weird Japanese food culture type of videos, because I know you guys really love the Monster Ramen video that I did and the Wonko Serbo video that I did. By the way, both of those down in the description below. Then uh, let me know, I guess. And if there are any suggestions for places of you being like, hey, Joey, they serve some weird shit here. You should go eat it and take your friends along with you then uh, leave them down in the comments below. Thanks for coming, Emma. No worries, I'll eat bugs with you anytime, man. That's how a good friendship is formed. <laughs> friendship, eat bugs. Eat bugs together. Well guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Like, favorite if you enjoy, subscribe for any banter. Keep watching anime. Johnny.